Hey, the reason we are using this calculator is that it's got lists and spreadsheets. Um, we will quickly generate some data here. Um, we're going to open up a new list and spreadsheet in a new document. And uh, once we open up the list and spreadsheets, we're going to uh, title the first three uh, TN for standing for type number. The second one will be FN for Fill, uh, fill in the number using formula and the fill in tool. And then the third one is going to be NN because um, we're going to be using a sequence to generate the information. Um, I hope that you've noticed that it will take less time for the third option to fill in any data. It, it, I was using a um, stopwatch widget and because I have to give the instructions it takes a while for the instructions so that you know what to do um, so um, we'll just run through how to do that and then I'll explain what I did after I show how much more quicker it is to use sequencing okay so here we go uh, we're gonna go ahead and we will press the uh, we're on the home key you can either select the little um, icon down here or you can tell it new document which is press number one once you press number one, then you will bring up this context menu. Press four for uh, listen spreadsheets, and then go ahead and up in the label part where you got A, B, and C. We're going to just type uh, type in T N. Press tab. Type in F N. Press tab, and then uh, N N. Then you will want to go over to column A, cell row one. That's going to be cell address A1, and you'll notice that down in the corner where it has an A1. Type in 1, press enter, type in 2, press enter. Keep on doing that until you get down to 10. Once you finish with that, you're going to move over one column, go all the way up to the top. And in B1, you're going to type in 1, you're going to press enter. And in this one, you're going to type in an equal sign followed by B1 plus 1. Move the cursor back up 1 by using the arrow key up and it should put a, a little box around it. Press the menu key, select 3 and then 3 for fill. Now use your arrow down key until you get down to number 10. As you are arrowing down you'll notice that there's a little dash box around it. So um, once you get to 10, you release it and you'll notice it filled it in 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Alright, final one. We're going to move the cursor over to column C, but instead of putting the cursor in C1, we're going to go up to what is called the formula bar. The formula bar is between the title area, where we have the NN, and the actual first active cell. So we're going to have this calculate and it's going to do it in less, a whole lot less time than what we've done before. So um, you're going to press uh, 3 and this time 1 and it's going to bring up a, a menu. Uh, under the UN you're going to type in N. Then you're going to go down to where it says N max. We're going to type in 10 and then you're just going to click OK. See how much faster that was? Um, you can see that if we're going to generate 100 pieces of data or more, this would be the way that you would want to enter it. Okay? So, 